Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral fully confined uh, in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that one of the side length uh, E, B is uh, 4 units. And moreover, the area of this uh, square is uh, 20 square units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral. Uh, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that the area of this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral uh, is equal to the area of this uh, square ABCD minus the area of this uh, triangle uh, BEC and once again minus another triangle uh, CDF as you can see in this uh, equation and we know the area of this square a b c d is uh, 20 square units so therefore we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle b c and the area of this uh, triangle uh, c d f uh, as well and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s uh, square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case the area of the square is uh, 20 so therefore I can write uh, s uh, square equals to 20 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root on uh, both sides so this square and square root is gone so our side length uh, s uh, turns out to be and we know that the square root of 20 if we simplify that uh, gives us uh, 2 times square root of 5 so therefore our side length turns out to be 2 times the square root of 5. So therefore all of our side lengths uh, turns out to be 2 times the square root of uh, 5 across uh, the board. And here's our next step. Let's, let me label uh, this uh, side length EC as uh, X and this uh, EF uh, as uh, Y units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC. So we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for uh, x value. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as side uh, c. I'm going to call uh, this side a and this side uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is x so it's going to become x square plus b is 4. So it's become 4 square equal to c square is going to be 2 times the square root of 5 whole square. So let's go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides. This is gone. So our x square value turns out to be 4. Let's undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So x turns out to be positive 2. So therefore our x value turns out to be 2 that means this EC length is 2 units. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words some of these two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's focus on this triangle CDF. Let's assume that this angle is alpha and this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta and we know that this whole angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore this angle uh, has got to be angle alpha and once again uh, this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be angle uh, beta so therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangles uh, triangle uh, BEC and this uh, triangle uh, CDF uh, are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportions so therefore let's look at the sides that are opposite to angle alpha this one and uh, this one so therefore I can write this ratio 2 times square root of 5 divided by 4 equals to and now let's make an observation we know that this whole side length uh, FC is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths so that is going to give us uh, y plus uh, 2 so therefore we are going to look at the side uh, that is opposite uh, to this uh, 
90 degree and the side on this side opposite to 90 degrees as well and this side is y plus 2 let me go ahead and write down y plus 2 divided by this side is 2 times square root of 5 now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so if we multiply this way we're gonna get 4y plus uh, 8 equals to when we multiply this uh, time this uh, that is going to give us uh, 20 let's subtract 8 from both sides this is gone so 4y turns out to be 12 and now let's divide both sides by 4 this is gone so our y value turns out to be 3 units so thus our this y value turns out to be 3 unit which is this uh, f e length and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, c d f and we know that this whole uh, length uh, f c is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths uh, 3 plus 2 is going to make uh, 5 uh, units and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this side length uh, f d let me label this side length uh, as uh, z and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem once again to find the value of z and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side c i'm going to call this side a and this side uh, b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a in our case is uh, 2 times the uh, square root of 5 uh, whole uh, square b is uh, z so it's going to become z square equal to on the right hand side this is 5 square let's subtract uh, 20 from both sides this is gone z square turns out to be 5 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides this square square root is gone so z value turns out to be square root of 5 units so therefore our z value turns out to be square root of 5 which is this length uh, df and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, BEC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base uh, times uh, height and in our case uh, base is 2 and the height is 4 so therefore the area of this triangle BEC is going to be a half times the base is uh, 2 times the height is uh, 4 so therefore the area turns out to be 4 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this another triangle uh, CDF whose base is 2 times square root of 5 and height is uh, square root of 5. Let's go ahead and apply this triangle formula once again. So we are going to have a half uh, times our base is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 5 times height is uh, square root of uh, 5 and if we multiply everything and simplify that is going to give us uh, 5 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral now and we know that uh, square a b c d value is uh, 20 so i'm going to replace this one by 20 over here the area of this triangle uh, b e c is uh, 4 i'm going to replace it over here and likewise the area of this triangle uh, c d f is uh, 5 so i'm going to replace it uh, five as well so let me go ahead and fill in the blank so i'm going to write down 20 minus 4 minus 5 and that is going to give us 11 square units so that's the area of this blue shaded quadrilateral turns out to be 11 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye